Hello everyone, this is Mr. Mahmood here. Today's lesson is on negative index laws. First of all, we are going to understand how do we come across negative indices. And we are going to look at some examples. And we are also going to look at uh, fractions with negative indices. And right at the end of the lesson, I'm going to give you some questions for you to try. Now, prior to this lesson, if you haven't watched the uh, index laws lesson, please do so. I'll post a link in the description and in the comments. This will help you understand this lesson a lot better. Okay, so let's get started. Now, we know that when we divide, we take away the powers and we multiply, we add the powers. So let's have a look at this question here. So a to the power of five divided by a to the power of six. So a to the power of five, take away six, that gives us a to the power of minus one. So we took away the powers and we ended up with minus one. So we got a negative index. Now this question over here, we can also write it as a fraction. So we can write it as a times a times a times a times a, just count the number of a's that I have, make sure it's the right number. A times a times a times a times a. One, two, three, four, five, and one more a. Now what we can do is divide by the common factor, top and bottom. Or in other words, we can cancel them out. So one a at the denominator and one a at the numerator. One, one, one a, one a, one a, one a and we left with the one at the top. Now a goes into a once, that's why we got this one here. Now we can write this answer as one over a. Now if you look at the question, it was the same question, but we got two different form of answers. So what we can say is, a to the power of minus one can be written as one over a. Now the other word to describe this, or you might have come across this, if you can write as a reciprocal. Okay, so what we've done, what we've done is we've written it as a reciprocal. Now you probably have also come across a question where if you have a number, say for example two, and they ask you to write down the reciprocal of two, then it is one over two. So that's a reciprocal. So let's write down the rule for the negative index law. So a to the power of minus m can be written as one over a to the power of m. Let's have a look at some examples. If you have two to the power of minus one, this can be written as a reciprocal or one over two. Three to the power of minus one can be written as one over three. Pretty straightforward, yeah? Now, what if you have a power other than minus one? So let's say we have two to the power of minus two. That will give us one over two squared. And one over two squared is one over four. Now you will notice that we did not write one in these two examples, one over two to the power of one or one over three to the power of one. The reason is when we write a number, we don't need to write, if it has a power of one, we don't need to write that one. We can leave it as it is. Even if you write it, it, should, it won't be wrong. But we don't need to write that one. So the answer is, for this one is one over four. Let's have a look at another example. Three to the power of minus two is one over three squared or one over nine. Let's do one more example. So let's say we have two to the power of minus three. You can choose any powers if you want. One over two cubed, and one over two cubed is one over eight. Now what if you have fractions uh, with negative indices? Let's say we have uh, one over two to the power of minus one. Now we previous example we've seen is if we have two to the power of minus one, we write it as a reciprocal, one over two. So we flip it over. Now with this one, we're going to write down is, we're just going to flip it over. So one over two is going to become two over one. 
Now, because we don't need to write that one underneath there, we can just write it as 2. Let's write a different example. 2 over 3 to the power of minus 1. And that will be 3 over 2. Now, what happens to the negative power? The negative power becomes positive. Okay, now because it's power of 1, we don't need to write the power of 1, so we can just write the answer as 3 over 2. Let's have a look at a example, an example with a different power other than minus 1, and we can write it as to the power of minus 2. So first of all, we flip it over, so 2 over 3 becomes 3 over 2 to the power of becomes positive square so we are going to square 3 and we are going to square 2 so 3 squared is 9 2 squared is 4 so the answer is 9 over 4 now I hope these examples has helped you now it's your turn to have a go at some of these questions once you finish please do let me know in the comments you can post the answers in the comments and if you've got any questions about these please do let me know in the next video, we are going to look at uh, fractional indices. So we're going to look at uh, numbers with fractional indices and also fractional negative indices. Uh, if you're not sure what I mean, so let's have a look at an example. So we have, for example, 2 over 3, a fraction with a negative or a positive fractional indices. And also we are, could have negative fractional indices okay don't forget to press the like button if that helped you and also leave a comment to say tell me how you found this video mr mahmood helping you do better in maths <laughs>